Okay, this is basically, uh, well, this is a uh, video response to Zach's High Show, How to Make a Pill Bottle Steamroller. And he said to connect the bottles like this with the same cap. Kind of like that, but I came up with a better idea. Um, when I was in 8th grade, I discovered that um, these pill bottles can go together because they're you can just pretty much jam it in there and it's it's pretty hard to get in there so it's airtight and that way it's completely airtight and so you just have to burn a hole in the bottom of this so uh, and get a knife or something so I'll show you that Uh, um, right now I'm going on a tolerance break, and it kind of sucks because I, uh, I don't know if you can call it self-medicating, but, because, you know, self-medicating is usually for, like, kids with, like, ADD and shit, but, like, um, I have insomnia, and I use it to sleep, and, yeah, it kind of sucks because, um, one, I don't have money, so even if I wanted to end my tolerance break, I couldn't go out and buy some bud, so it kind of sucks. And I don't start my job until spring. <sighs> Just kind of blow through it to get all that plastic. <clears throat> the gases, if glasses are created, you know, just being safe. And right here is just a bowl that screws on. That I went ahead and melted a hole and uh, pounded that in so it's airtight. And this, you see, the first time you do it, it's pretty hard. So uh, you just gotta use brute force basically. And uh, you can even get the really long pill bottles, so it's pretty much just double this and take out a step. But my prescription uh, comes in these pill bottles, so. Yeah. So basically just screw that on and I mean you could uh make a giant hole here but I decided to just um make a giant carb inside. So yeah. Uh thanks for watching and hope you like it.